Hello everybody and welcome back to GP Nail Art. Jessica here. So I am going to be using some of the leftover money from my check for my September 2nd uh, paycheck to do some savings challenges. Um, this book I got from um, Crafted by Free is the name of the Etsy shop and she also has a YouTube channel which is budgeted by free. Um, so she actually makes all of this with resin and glitter and she did teal and rose gold for me to match my other planners and binders. Um, so I absolutely love this and then I love little stickers um, that kind of match the Monopoly game and everything and this is uh, a little bit raised too so it's really really cool looking. So I'm going to go ahead and um, count the money first. Now this money, and this is the money that's left over from my paycheck. This money is all of the fives and ones that I got back for change whenever I used the money in my wallet during the last two weeks. So I'm just going to go ahead and combine them don't know how much this is at this point so we have 5 10 15 25 35 45 55 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 so um i mean i could put this towards an extra debt payment and you know it's possible I may put some of this or some more of this towards that um, but the you know this is a really fun way to kind of save money and um, there's kind of other things that I want to possibly do with some of this once the challenge is completed. Um, there's some other kinds of like long-term saving envelopes that I want to start um, you know, in the coming months, uh, as well as, you know, maybe using some of the money to kind of, um, beef up on other envelopes that, um, you know, I may need. So whatever it is that I need at that time. Um, so I haven't really decided what I would do with any of this money as of yet. So, um, for some of these games, I am going to need dice. These are blinged out. I got these from black and blue. Um, she is making blinged out pens, uh, and she will sometimes send the dice out when you make a purchase with her. So these also that I have teal and kind of, it's more of like a nude color, but I kind of wanted it to match my rose gold, um, accents that I have in my binders and everything. I'm not really a pink girl. Um, pink is not my favorite <laughs> color, so I do like rose gold though, even kind of, even though it's kind of pinky looking. But um, these kind of match my binders and God, look at that sparkle. A, a lot of the times the camera doesn't really pick it up that great, but I don't know if it's just my lighting that I have, but these are just sparkling away good lord so they do match my binders and I absolutely love them so we'll keep them there but I have my blinged out dice that came with them as well which is cool because I didn't have <laughs> dice before so I'm just gonna go ahead and separate this out so we have some fives and my ones okay Where do I want to put those? <laughs> put them there. Okay, so. And then I have, I kind of have all of my challenges in this kind of thicker folder. I don't want to fold them up and put them in the envelopes and stuff like that because most of them are like full pages. These are the challenges that I am working on right now. And then I do also have uh, challenges that I have not started yet, so they're kind of in the back of my binder, but I'll kind of, once I kind of finish, I don't want to have everything kind of going at the same time, so I may not always have this amount of money um, to work with, so I'm just going to work with a few of them for now. Okay. 
There we go. So you can see everything a little bit better now. Okay, so we have the front nine. So this is from Hands and Bands. You can see her little symbol there. So this is available on her Etsy shop. So you roll one dice and write down your scores in this box. This is the person that you're competing against. And if I win, I'll put aside $5. If I lose, I'll put aside 10 So let me get my I'm gonna use, I use that one all the time in my planner, so I'm going to use the teal one. So we have a four. Oops, another four. Six. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Four. A one. Two. I'll count that as a six. A one. And a five. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'm winning this one. I am not good at math, so I'm using a calculator. So I have a score of 33. Janet has a score of 20, which means I lose because low score wins. So I put aside $10 in my front nine. And these most of her challenges come with an envelope, so I just cut the front of the envelope off so I know which folder is which, or which envelope is which. Okay, so now we have 10, 15, 20. Okay, so next I have Steerike. This is another one from Hands and Bands. And we roll I'm gonna roll one dice again. High score wins. I had to write that down. <laughs> and elevens and twelves. Oh no, we do do two dice. Okay. Um elevens and twelves are gutter balls, so that would be a zero. And then we will roll again to see who I am playing with at the bottom, or I'm playing against. Okay. So that's a seven, a two, seven, nine. So we have an 11, so that's a zero. Another, <laughs> another gutter ball. Dang it. <laughs> 10. Good Lord, another gutter ball. I am not doing good. Another nine. Good Lord, <laughs> another one. Oh my God, I am so failing at this. <laughs> so my score is a 44 and who am I playing against I could win depending on who I'm playing against so a 10 20 oh I actually won because I rolled a 10 so I'm playing against Ashley. She had a 26. I have the high score. I cannot believe that happened, actually. <laughs> so for this game, I decided that if I win or tie, I will save $5. And if I lose, I will save 10. So I'm going to put 5 in here. So now I have 15. Okay. I absolutely love this one. This is another one from Hands and Bands. She has some really creative, awesome challenges. I absolutely love her challenges. This one is a lot of fun. When I started, stay there. <laughs> when I started, um, I rolled a two, obviously, so I have this pink tab to show where it is that I am. I think for this one, when I reached the fish and fishing line not the fishing line the finish line when I reach the finish line I'm gonna unstuff it and put it towards 
whatever I want to put it towards at that time and then just start it over. So this is kind of something that I can continue like forever. <laughs> so let me go ahead and roll and see what we get. So, so basically whatever I land on, that's what I have to do. And this one says roll a die. So one dice. Um, so like the first, uh, add up the first two digits of my address. If I roll a one, um, if something doesn't apply, like for instance, number of kids, I don't have any kids. I would save five dollars. This is a little out of fun. <laughs> I might do this more than once. So we got one, two, three, four. Add together the digits of your birth year. Okay, I was born in 1977. So twenty-four dollars. That's a big one. Five, 10, 15, 20. One, two, three, four. So. 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 24. Let's see what we have in here now. So I already have a 20, 25, 35, 40, 1, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Nice. So this one's moving right along. Um, since I have enough, let me actually roll one more time. Six. Oh, I got big numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number of concerts attended. Oh, geez. <laughs> okay, so when I was young, let's see. I oh, there's a lot. I don't even know. Concerts. All right, let me think about it. Okay, so I seriously had to, like, sit down and think about the type, like, the different music concerts I attended. I had to ask my mom for help because I just have such a bad memory. But the very first concert I ever saw when I was eight or nine years old, maybe, was Cindy Lauper. My mom taught, uh, took me. That's showing my age. But I've seen a lot of different kinds of concerts, but the total that we have here is 11. Right? One, two, three, four. 11. So we're gonna put another eleven dollars in. Okay, so we now have twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty-seven. So this will be a nice chunk of money once I am finished. I'm gonna go ahead and Put this down here so maybe a couple more rolls and I'll be able to unstuff that and put that towards something all right so next I have a rainy day I do have a whole set of coloring um, colored pencils I'm gonna do a darker doggy I really like this guy. He's cute. So I assigned that each dog would be worth eight, and then the cat will be double, so that will be 16. This is another one from Hands and Bands. Can you tell that I like her stuff? <laughs> um, but actually, in, in all honesty, right now, I wouldn't consider myself low income. I do make a good amount in my paycheck however because I have so much debt I have been taking advantage of when um, the fact that some youtubers um, specifically hands and bands she does have an Etsy shop as well um, and some of the other youtubers that are out there will do freebie saving challenges from time to time hands and bands will typically do one every Friday I haven't gotten every single one that she pulls out but the ones that I really like um, the rainy day one I got as a freebie um, this color and save I got as a freebie um, so I do 
I, I will take it. I mean, you know, I will make use of that when that is something that is available because I do want to put as much, you know, as many dollars as I can toward um, debt. So if I have the ability to not necessarily have to pay for something and it's something that I know that I will use, I'm not going to download it just because it's free. Um, you know, I'll download it because I know I'm actually going to use it as well. So definitely check her out because she does do that as well. But enough chatting. Let's, let's count the money. So that's going to be eight. And I like that she also does give the envelopes. So again, that rainy day, you can use it. It'll print out as a sheet of paper with the outline of an envelope. So you could um, use it as an envelope instead of stuffing up. Since I have this, I like to just put the whole thing in the, the zipper, but you know, have that little header so I know what it's for. So now we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which makes sense because I only have two. I may start at some point in the future. I do want to start like a fur baby fund. Um, I don't have a dog right now. If you've been watching some previous videos um, on my channel back in April, my little girl, um, my dog passed. She was 16 years old um, and she wasn't really doing very great, but um, I miss her. I'm glad that my sister brings her dog over pretty much every weekday um, while she's at work since my mom is here and I work from home. So I do get to see him very often and that does help. So Spooky Savings. This is a, a holiday pack that is from crafted by free or budget by free is her YouTube channel. So this is actually a whole pack. Um, so it has a Halloween. It has one for Thanksgiving, Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, 4th of July, New Year's, I think. So there's a wide range of holidays that are, um, in the pack. Um, I'm not necessarily going to use what I save here for decorations or costumes or candy, but it is, I did it as she was doing a giveaway. So I won this from a giveaway that she was doing. And I'm, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm going to put $10 for every icon up here, $5 for these. And then, um, you know, I'll, if we do something for the holiday, um, you know, if we're going to do like a movie marathon or order food or something, you know, my family and I, I'll put some of this money towards that and then whatever is left over, I'll stuff into something else. So, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to do the five this time. I'm going to do the lollipop. So what do you guys do for Halloween? I don't I mean... The area that I live in, I live in a condo complex with my mom, and it's kind of on a busy-ish road, so we don't really get um, trick-or-treaters here, so I, I don't know if my mom went to my sister's house last year, um, or what it is that they did. I don't know if my sister gets more um, trick-or-treaters or not, um, but we don't really get any here, so it's usually a quiet night. Um, I don't typically, I'm not one to really, I love Halloween, I love, like, all the scary movies and stuff, but I don't really like to get dressed up. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just, I, I love, I love Thanksgiving and Christmas more. Thanksgiving because I feel like it's just a time where we can all get together as a family and um, you know eat and just spend the day together but um, you know Christmas for, for the same reason just because I get to really kind of see my whole family and everything um, so I have the holiday challenge pack for my header here so I just cut that from the first page that printed out because it just says what holidays are in it so I have the 10 from the first time, so now we have 15. Okay, so this one, I'm going to put this 
aside for a moment because this one is a little bit different. This is the murder mystery. So if you saw my previous video, I had a $100 prop bill that had like the blood spatters on it. That's what this one came from. Uh, that's what the prop bill, this is where it came from. <laughs> so we have a murder mystery emergency room game. <laughs> so it comes with a little tracker. It comes with all of these clues. We have day one, day two, and then the solution. There is, she created a whole backstory here. Um, I did already open one clue, but if you want to, um, to hear the story, it says you are a new detective on your third case. You enter the hospital at 2 a.m. Monday morning. The call came in just a few hours earlier. One of the psych patients escaped and stabbed a nurse and doctor on another floor. The nurse didn't make it and the doctor is in critical condition. You're unable to speak to the doctor. There's no record of the psych patient and the nurse isn't an employee of the hospital. The patient refuses to speak to anyone except the doctor, but you're not sure you're not sure the doctor will make it. So save the amount of money shown on the clue card, mark on the tracker, use the clues to solve the mystery. Uh, once all the clues are revealed, make your guess, save the amount on the solution to open the answer and were we correct. So open the red numbers first, uh, the black numbers build from the first set of clues, save the solution for last. So, so the day two is going to be the black. So the very first clue, where is it, that I opened... So I did put aside the five dollars. That's what that's that is what that's for. So the very first clue that I opened um, when I first started the challenge is the nurse has no ID. She is dressed in scrubs, and their phone is password protected. So I don't know if that gives us a whole lot of information, but let's go ahead and grab the next one. So the next one says the psych patient's intake form is found. They were admitted by their brother. Hmm. Okay. So we have a brother now. All right. So I don't know what this is all going to lead to, but it's going to be fun. So I'm going to leave those out. I don't want to put them back in. So we have another $5 and then I'll just use this pencil to fill in my tracker. So it looks like all of the day one clues are going to be five. Then we get to 10, 15, and then the solution is 20. So we'll have a good amount of money by the time we're done. All right. So when we start getting more clues, I'm, I'll be interested to see what all of your guesses are <laughs> for what happened. <laughs> all right. So next we have color and save by number. So I want to get rid of some of these singles. I have, let's see, I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, so let's do, let's do a 4. And she has the color, so we have a color by number, so 4 is purple. So she is going to be so pretty by the time she's done. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. And we are at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I may come back to this one. I'm not sure. Okay, so after color by number, this one here, um, since it's a smaller piece of paper, I do just have the, the slip in with the envelope. Um, this I actually, so it has on both sides, this is actually a book that I got from Amazon. Um, so it has a book full of, um, it's kind of the same, it'll have like five or ten pages 
of this front and back so it's a little bit repetitive I don't know how much I'm going to use that or if I'll flip it over and do the other side but um, we'll see so let's see I still have a good amount let's do a bigger one I think the biggest one I have on here is nine yeah so five six seven eight nine that leaves four dollars left don't really want to start any new challenges until I finish some of the ones that I have going right now but this will be $100 by the time I'm done so now I have 20 35 40 41 42 43 44 so not quite but almost halfway there Okay, and then last, but certainly not least, I have another Hands and Bands um, Blooming for Bucks. So these are the ones that I started. So each flower is $1, each butterfly is 3 and a cup is 5 I believe I have $4 left. Well, let me just double check. Yes, so I'm going to do a butterfly and a flower. Three and four. Okay, so I'm going to do this little guy here. Cute, and then we'll do a flower. So now we have our four dollars and I believe by the time this one is done with what you're coloring in it'll be about 42 ish dollars um, I don't remember the exact amount but and it doesn't say in here but now we have 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 okay so that is it for my savings challenges today let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.